Welcome to the special winter edition season where I post videos every day until Christmas. Make sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any videos. So buckle up and enjoy. In today's video, I decided to build a Santa's workshop so that you guys could get all your presents for Christmas. But before we can get started, we need to go and collect a bunch of resources. And guys, do you think I should transform this area here into a ski resort? I think that could look really, really cool. We'll have to do a bunch of terraforming and also get rid of the village over there. But for us to get started with the build, like I said, we're going to need some resources, which means cutting down a bunch of spruce trees. Come on, buddy. There we go. Let's go. Where'd you go? Oh, there you are. Oh, that's a good boy. Come on, let's go and start building Santa's workshop. Because if not, no one's going to get any presents. But for Santa's workshop, now that we've built this ice rink, I want to move it across a little bit closer to the barn. All right, one, ten, there we go. And one, ten, there we go. All right, so we're going to start off with a square. And we're also going to have a big chimney on the side, which is going to produce a bunch of heat for the workshop. And also, so you can melt down some plastics to make some toys. Or well, actually, I think I might do it on this side instead. <clears throat> all right, so we're going to go five high on each side over here and on all the other corners as well. All right, so this is the middle right here. So I want to go up quite a few blocks. There we go. And I'm actually going to start with the roof now before we continue the walls. I know it doesn't look like much right now, guys, but hopefully it will turn out quite nice. Because as usual, I am winging this. I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing right now. I'm just really hoping it's going to turn out nice. Well, guess who's redoing a roof because that looks hideous. <laughs> oh, I hate my life. All right, so we have got a change of plans. <laughs> we are going to build a different style of building. It is still going to be Santa's workshop though, so don't worry about that. But it's going to be more of a uh, typical like medieval style build and a lot easier to be honest. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go up a few blocks and we're also going to have the other floor stick out a bit. So we're going to put an upside down stair like that and then go up. I'm not going to go up uh, as far yet because I'm not quite sure how high I want this. But we're going to do the same on all the sides here and including like straight ahead there. We're going to have to add a pillar here and a pillar round about there. All right, so I've completed the framework and now pretty much all we have to do is a nice big roof and also our big chimney, which I think I might actually do on this side. But before we do any of that, I need a drink. <laughs> all right, I have gotten my drink, which is in fact an energy drink because that's what I need lately with all these videos. It is very, very tiring, but very enjoyable to do. So now what we're going to do is decorate the walls of this build. And I am very scared to knock over my drink. All right, <laughs> so as I mentioned, I don't know what I'm going to do with the bottom walls yet. I think I might make them out of stone. And then the top walls here, if I can climb up. Yes, if I can climb up, there we go. I might do like a little layer of planks. There we go, or slabs. And then we're going to use some snow because it does pretty much look like white concrete with a bit more texture. All right. So I'm not quite sure if I want to use wood slabs or if I want to use stone slabs. So we're going to do stone slabs for now and then we'll change it up later and see if it looks any better. So I'm just going to make some two wide windows here, some two by two windows. There we go. And do the same over here. My inventory is so filled up right now. It's so hard to use. All right, there we go. And one more there. And what does it look like? Please be good. All right, well, I think it will end up looking good. It's just right now, keep in mind, there's no windows, there's no shutters. There's pretty much no detail on this build. But I think I'm going to keep going ahead with this. And I'm actually going to leave the spruce planks there because it gives it a bit more texture. So now it is time for me to decorate this whole build and also also build the roof <sighs> energized and for all you people wondering when am i gonna do a hardcore let's play don't worry i'll be doing that pretty soon well next year though it'll be after this series for sure but i do really want to do one because i've missed playing hardcore because i, I did stop my youtube channel for a while and this is pretty much training for hardcore oh yeah and uh, we all know how that went and actually guys i'm wondering i'm very curious let me know in the comments what you prefer if you prefer normal minecraft or hardcore minecraft for you you guys to play so do you prefer dying a lot <laughs> or not being able to die once just let me know. All right. 
All right, this is where it gets really expensive because I'm going to make a log roof, <laughs> which means I'm going to have to probably chop down a bunch more trees. Yeah, I'm starting to like this build. I'm starting to really like it. I know it still looks very plain, but don't worry. I'm going to add a bunch more details to it, which is going to make it look a lot nicer. I hope anyway. But as you can tell, I've only got three logs left to my name, which means I'm going to have to go into our house here, grab some saplings and plant some more trees. All right, I finally finished the roof, but now what I need to do is shear all this wood. I don't know how you call it. I don't even know what it's even called. But yeah, so I need to shave off all of the um, bark off the, the logs here. And I think it should look a little bit better because right now it, it's like too, not enough detail in it really. There's too much spruce logs everywhere because it matches with the pillars. So I want to swap this with some, uh, what, what are they called? <laughs> I forgot, shaven spruce logs? Probably not, but that's what we're going for anyway. All right, yeah, that actually looks a lot better. And once it has some snow on it, I think it'll look really, really good. All right, so now what I'm going to do is head over to our main base so that I can get a bunch of stained glass because I want to add some stained glass to make it more Christmassy because right now it just looks like a medieval house. And also, I have run out of rockets almost. I've been trying to save them when, when uh, moving around, but I'm running really low now on rockets. So I need to head back home, get some rockets and some stained glass, and then I'll meet you guys back here for some more building. All right, so before we continue building, there's something really sad that's just happened. I have lost my dog. I don't know where he is, but I'm guessing he's around here somewhere because I've only been flying around here so he must have teleported somewhere and got stuck there but I'm guessing actually the only place I did go is all the way over there because there is my shulker box and please tell me you're over here buddy oh yes you're here what's up buddy <laughs> yeah he's happy he's happy look at him oh guy let's go oh he's drifting all over the place come on let's go all right he's not very good at following he doesn't really uh, obey that well but anyway let's go back over to here and continue building he's a cute little rabbit look at that I wish you could tame, like, rabbits so they could follow you around. I think that'd be really cool. Maybe I'm only saying that because I have a bunch myself in real life. <laughs> that could be just me, though. Okay, actually, I just thought of saying, what we're going to do is go up here and change this middle window. I want this to be a circle, which is going to be quite awkward to do, really. Maybe if we just do that, it might look a little bit nicer. So let's make some panes. We're going to make some red ones. There we go. And some green ones. There we go. Maybe I shouldn't have gone with lime green. I'm just going to mix up all of the, the stuff like this. There we go. Do you know what? There there we go. All right, let's just go outside and check, see what this looks like. All right, I'm going to have to... I don't know how it looks, to be honest, right now. I'm not 100% not on it, but I think what we're going to do is just fill in all of the other windows, and then we'll figure out if it looks good or not. All right, so guys, I'm not going to lie. I did get carried away a little bit with the decorating, and this is where we're at right now with the build. And I think this looks really, really good. Oh, as you can tell, I did also swap the lime green stained gr uh, glass. I was going to say grass. But <laughs> the lime green stained glass with some normal green one. And I've had Added a huge chimney on the side for the workshop but now it is time to actually decorate the inside go on buddy come and help me because you have some really good ideas i know you do no, that's not the door. This is the door. There we go. <laughs> right, upstairs, there is not much, really. Uh, there is some nice windows here, as you can see. But downstairs, we do have a little bit of a setup going. So we do have the huge chimney up here. Ouch. Try not to burn. But what I wanted to do was actually put all of this into carpet. All right, well, that was quick, and I've already run out of carpet. So I'll have to go back and go get some more. Unfortunately, this is all I had here. I was hoping that I'd have... Uh, well, I know I have a lot more red wall back at the other house. But that means I have to travel far away again. So for now... Out, this will have to do but i had an idea of adding some like tables so i'm actually i'm gonna have to get rid of some of these there we go do that and here for the end of the table we're gonna add some stairs there we go i'll move across like two and do the same here but it is a bit dark in here so i will have to add a few more bits of lighting because yeah this is not enough and as you can see i do have some cauldrons which are, is going to be like sinks so when people are working here they can wash the stuff that they're working with and i don't know what else we could add we could probably add like loads of little presents here so i'll probably try to do that off camera because I'm gonna have to go back home and get a bunch of wool and I'll show you why I wanted to get a bunch of wool down as you can tell I have added a texture pack because I thought it wasn't very Christmassy themed and as you can tell there is some little lights on the saplings now even the grass here actually turns into white snow underneath there was something else I saw though I don't know if it's despawned ah I think it has there was a creeper here that was actually really really scary oh there he is wow look at him he's like so camouflaged you could not even see him oh I didn't even notice my Elytra has like a candy cane uh, effect on it now. But as you can tell, there is some also some other little things that are quite cool, like the doors are a little bit decorated. Um, the chests also have presents, so it's actually kind of good, especially for the workshop. And talking about the workshop,
shop. We're actually are going to head over there right now. Uh, is the creeper gone? No, it's not. All right, let's get that guy to despawn because I don't want him to blow up my door. Also, the sugar cane is actually candy cane. Has he despawned? Yes, he has. Perfect. All right, let's go inside so I can show you what I've done. So we do have a bunch of workers in here. There is a bunch of presents that are maybe for you guys. Who, who knows? And also, I have decorated with some plum pots and some saplings. And these, by the way, are iron bars. And I think that is so, so cool. Especially for the decoration. Uh, we're not going to go upstairs because um, because I did not do anything at all up there. But yes, apart from that, I think it turned out really good. Especially inside here. So they got their little workstations here. They get all the presents, pile them up here. And then they take them out to the barn where they get ready to set off and deliver all the presents. I think this world looks way better right now. Especially with this texture pack. I think it looks awesome. You guys let me know what you think in the comment section below. And actually what we're going to go do now is head over to the advent calendar and open another day. But before we go and head over to the main area to open the Christmas calendar. I want to see if my potatoes have grown and how many are we going to get? Is that? Wait, they've all grown. Okay, that is insane. All right, now is the time to use our fortune pickaxe because it does actually give you more. Let's see how many potatoes we get. All right, let's see. Do you know what? I'm only going to do half of it because I know it's going to take me forever to replant all of this. So I'm just going to do half for now and then uh, we'll see how much we get. Oh, seems like we've run into a problem. I have run out of potato space. Look at that. <laughs> that is insane. Oh, I've done like a quarter. I don't know why I'm jumping, but I think I've done about a quarter of all the potatoes. All right, well, <laughs> that'll do for now. I'm not even going to do the whole thing because if not, I think there's probably going to be like four inventories worth. But that is insane. I don't think we're going to have to collect potatoes for a while now. Well, I've forgotten that the texture pack has changed the other biomes as well, which unfortunately makes these ones look not as nice. <laughs> so let me just swap back for the uh, quick second. Ah, much better. So we have finally made it to the double digits, which means we have to open a day 10. And, uh, oh, okay, you guys just chilling? I guess you are. All right, that means we have to go all the way to the top, which is annoying. All right, let's go up there. Come on. Oh, before it gets nighttime as well, let me down. There we go. Perfect. No damage as well. Look at that. I'm getting better and better every day. All right, let me get rid of this. And now, the big reveal. It is 800 Robuxes again. So if you want to win that gift card, don't forget to leave a nice comment. And you also have to be subscribed and join my Discord. So anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy that video. And we get to enjoy the nice sunset. And if you did, don't forget to leave a comment like and subscribe and as always i'll see you in tomorrow's episode peace